In this video, we're going to learn about different types of graph isomorphism and graph homomorphism. So let's see what is graph isomorphism. We say that two graphs are isomorphic, uh, G1 and G2 are the two graphs and they are said to be isomorphic and if they are isomorphic, they are represented as such kind of these things. These are isomorphic notation for the two graphs. So if this four condition meets, two graphs could be said as isomorphic. So what are these conditions? First, the number of vertices in both the graphs should be same. Then second, number of edges in both the graphs should be same. Third, number of uh, n vertices with degree k in first word, first graph. Suppose we are having in the graph G1, we are having uh, n vertices whose degree is k. We should have same count of uh, vertex whose degree is k in the second graph also. That uh, is the third condition. And the last condition is adjacency should be preserved. So what are the adjacent vertex which are having the degree uh, like uh, suppose 3, 4. So such kind of vertex should be adjacent to each other in both the graph. So for example, we have to find whether these two graphs are isomorphic or not. This is a graph G1 and G2 which is given with us. So we will uh, go with all of these four conditions. First condition, what is the number of vertices in both the graph? So in this graph, we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six vertices are there. In this graph also, we are having six vertices. So the graph uh, are having same number of vertices. This case is, uh, uh, this is uh, satisfied, this first condition. Second condition is number of edges in both the graph should be same. So we'll find out how many number of edges we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So 8 number of edges are there in first graph and the same with uh, the second graph that is it is having 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 number of edges. So this condition is also satisfied. Now third condition is that we have to uh, find out uh, what is the degree of each and every vertex. So this and how many vertex are having with the degree 2, 3, 4 and so on. So this vertex is having degree 2, that uh, is uh, the now this is uh, having degree as 2, this is having degree as 3. So degree of vertex is how many edges which are touching to that particular vertex. So this is having degree as 3, this is having degree as 3, this vertex is having degree as 2 and this vertex is having degree as 3. So there are total 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 number of vertices whose degree is 3 and the 2 number of vertices whose degree is 2 in the graph G1. We have to check the same with the second graph that is uh, here and now we will check that how many vertexes are there in the second graph whose degree is 2 and 4. So this vertex is having degree as 3, this is having degree as 2, this is having degree as 3. Now this is having 1, 2, 3 degree as 3, this is having degree as 1, 2, 2, this is having degree as 3. So there are 4 vertices are there in the second graph whose degree is 3 and 2 vertices whose degree is so this uh, kind of thing is uh, also uh, same in both the graph. So this condition is also passed. We have checked with all of this first condition. Now we have to check with the last condition that is adjacency. Now here for example, we will take the example of the vertex whose degree is uh, 3 in this first graph. The vertex whose degree is 3 which is adjacent to the one vertex whose degree is 2. Okay, this is having degree as 2. We are checking adjacency for vertex whose degree is 3. Now this is adjacent to one vertex whose degree is 3 and another vertex whose degree is 3. So the vertex uh, whose degree is 3 in the first graph is adjacent to two vertices whose degree is 3 and one vertex whose degree is 1. Okay. Now the same with this vertex, this vertex and this vertex, they are having the same condition and the vertex whose degree is 2, they are adjacent to vertices whose degree is 3. We will check whether this is same in this kind of graph. So now we will check with suppose like this particular uh, kind of uh, we will check with this particular kind of uh, graph that is uh, kind of vertex. Now we will check what is the degree of this. This is degree as having degree as 3. Now this is adjacent to one vertex whose degree is 2. Now other vertex whose uh, degree is 3 and other vertex whose degree as 3. Okay, now this is also satisfying the same condition. The vertex whose degree is uh, 3 is adjacent to one vertex whose degree is 3, other vertex whose degree is 3 and other vertex whose degree is 2. Okay, this is the degree adjacent degree, uh, adjacent vertex degree and the vertex whose degree is 2, they are adjacent to vertices whose degree is 3 in both the graph. 
so this is kind of adjacency is pre preserved so that's why we can say that uh, we can label the name also like what is that uh, kind of vertex suppose if you say the a uh, in the graph g1 we can say that that is similar to the vertex name was uh, vertex name one in the second graph so in this way we have labeled this we are getting adjacent to each other adjacency is preserved hence adjacency is preserved all the four cases are satisfied we can finally conclude that these two graphs are isomorphic to each other now, next question we have to check whether these two graphs are isomorphic to each other now first of all we will find out how many vertices are there in both the graph 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 in this graph 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 in this graph second condition is check for number of edges in both the graph so here we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 edges here we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 edges okay this condition is also satisfied now we will go for checking how many uh, vertices are having the degree uh, what is the count of a vertex whose degree is 2 vertex whose degree is 3 4 and so on so we will uh, calculate the degree of each and every vertex the degree of this is 2 of this vertex is 3 of this vertex is 3 of this vertex is 2 of this vertex is 2 and of this vertex is 2 now uh, in this graph the degree of uh, this particular vertex is 3 of this vertex is 2 of this is 2 this is having degree as 3 this is having degree as 3 sorry 2 and this is having degree as 2 so there are uh, 1 2 3 4 4 vertices in the first graph whose degree is 2 and two vertices in the first graph whose degree is 3 okay and in the same with uh, the second graph we are having two vertices whose degree is 3 in the second graph and 1 2 3 4 4 vertices whose degree is 2 in the second graph okay now this uh, kind of thing is also uh, common in both the graph how many vertex are having the same degrees now we will go for checking the adjacency now randomly we will pick the one vertex so we have picked this particular vertex uh, the vertex whose degree is 2 in the first graph is adjacent to one vertex whose degree is 3 okay this is having degree as 2 and adjacent to another vertex whose degree is 3 now we'll check for the same thing in the second graph now suppose we are taking this particular vertex okay now uh, there exists uh, now the, there is only one kind of vertex in this graph I will check whether there exists uh, this kind of vertex or not. So there are having four, one, two, three, four, four vertices are there in this graph. So we'll check one by one. Now this vertex is adjacent to one vertex whose degree is three, and another vertex whose degree is two. Now if we'll go with this vertex also, we'll get the same kind of thing. This with this also we'll get the same kind of thing. One vertex is adjacent to uh, this is adjacent to one vertex whose degree is two, and other vertex whose degree is three. So this happens with all these four vertices whose degree is two in this graph. And uh, suppose we will check with this particular graph. There exists uh, only one vertex whose which is adjacent to uh, the vertices whose degree is three in this graph, whose degree is two so they, this kind of vertex is not there so adjacency is not preserved this kind of vertex is not there in this graph we don't uh, uh, bother about what is the name of vertex in the second graph but we are not having such kind of vertex which are adjacent to two vertices whose degree is three okay that's why we can say that adjacency is not preserved because in a g2 vertex whose degree is two okay uh, all are adjacent to uh, one vertex is degree is 2 and other vertex is degree is 3. So that's why we can conclude that this fourth condition is doesn't meet. So our graph is not isomorphic to each other. These two graphs are not isomorphic to each other. So we will draw this G1 triple equal G2 is uh, and uh, bar over here. The next condition is that uh, we uh, want to check whether our graph is homomorphic graph for example we want to check that whether these two graphs are homomorphic or not so this is the graph g1 here we are having total six number of vertexes this is the graph g2 here we are having total four number of vertexes okay this uh, these are not there i just drawn that these are not there there are total four vertices are there in this graph so uh, we just have to introduce uh, such number of vertex in this graph so that our graph will look like this our graph will become isomorphic to this graph so in what kind of uh, way we can add the vertex we just have to add the vertex on the edges so that their degree will become 2 
so if i will add the vertex over here my graph will look like the other if i will uh, add uh, any vertex i just need two vertex to add in this particular graph if i will add the two vertex vertices over here my graph will not become isomorphic to each other so in what sense i should add so that uh, after adding this two vertices the count of vertices will be equal the count of number will be equal and uh, with all the four cases of isomorphism my two graphs will become isomorphic to each other so what i did i just added two vertex over here and uh, i have redrawn these two graphs so after redrawing i am uh, getting that uh, suppose we'll label this uh, as any suppose x and y vertex were added so uh, we can say that this two graph are becoming isomorphic to each other if you'll also go with this uh, kind of uh, four cases also we'll get the same kind of result so in this case we can say now this two graph are isomorphic to each other when when we will add the two vertices at this particular point in this second graph then our graph will become isomorphic in the future so that's why we are saying there is still scope for this second graph so, so in such a way that if uh, some of the vertex were added this two will become isomorphic to each other, each other so that's why we are saying currently these two graph are homomorphic to each other uh, write down in the comment whether this uh, for the question two whether these two graph are homomorphic or not and for the question one whether these two graphs are isomorphic to each other or not mm -hmm.